This is Texas Swing Dance Society. Um, my name is John Peter. I'm the vice president. And what we do is that we provide education in Lindy Hop and Charleston and other, swing, uh, other jazz vernacular dances from the 30s and 40s. Hi, I'm Coloni. Uh, I'm the president of Texas Swing Dance Society. And I've been dancing for about three years. So swing dancing has a bunch of different dance types, but overall it focuses on dancing to jazz music. And it came about in the 30s and 40s kind of um, as like a place where both um, African Americans and white people could kind of come together and dance. It was one of the first, I think, like areas where there wasn't segregation. Dancing is a form of expression for me, mostly because I'm a physics major, so I don't get a lot of that in like my daily classes and just kind of daily work, research, all that kind of stuff. And so this is one place where like I can't like even think about physics or like science or anything. Like I'm just dancing and having fun. Um, so I started swing dancing my freshman year of college. Um, I saw a bunch of flyers for it in RLM, and um, it just seemed interesting. I was kind of already a fan of the music from uh, from just growing up. I listened to a lot of stuff from like the 40s, 50s, 60s, so it kind of fit with what I already liked. What swing dancing means for me a lot of it is just giving me a chance where I can relax a bit and not be so uptight. <laughs> um, it's a very playful kind of dance. It's much less structured than a lot of other dances. There's a lot more room for creativity. There's a lot more room for you to just try whatever and if it doesn't work out then you know laugh it off and keep going um that's not there as much in other dances i don't think they're a lot more structured there's a lot more emphasis on doing things the right way rather than just having fun with it